Swole Benji here. I've been asked many, many times in the past, what is the best way to get faction points? And I've always told people, it's Shattered Mountain. You come here at the top left little settlement called Mountain Home Outpost. And this is where you would go to run PvP missions. But a lot of people, including myself, have been merged into a massive super server with tons and tons of people. And so actually going out and PvP flagging is... Not something you can really do by yourself anymore. If I flagged up, I would just be mercilessly hunted down and killed by aimbotters and hackers and ESPers. Also, I'm vastly outnumbered by uh, greens, even though uh, yellow does own a good amount of the map. The thing is, is on this server, the green team is a, t is a set of brothers, and uh, the other brother is on the yellow team, and they work together to just kind of win trade uh, the lands amongst each other so that they can like both profit or something. It's really weird, right? Because uh, they'll collect the taxes for a while from the green team, and then they'll switch to the yellow, and then collect their taxes more. And it, I don't know. I don't know how to fully explain it, but the point is, is that green vastly outnumbers everyone on this server. So I can't actually PvP flag. But what you can do is you can run the PvE missions, okay? Now, the, the cool thing about uh, Shattered Mountain is the PV, or PvE missions, they're actually quite difficult for just most builds, okay? Um, but... They are doable if you have a certain build, and this is a build I've been hyping up for a while on my channel. This is a 300 strength, all constitute, 300 strength rest into constitution build, but what you do is you have an axe with trenchant recovery on it, and you have all of your armor pieces, which you can still get until the 11th of January. I don't know when this video is coming out, but uh, with corrupted ward, and you get corrupted ward on everything, you get... Um, Onyx gems into everything that you can. I don't have one in an ambulance because it has no gem slot for some reason. But you, uh, you you get that gear set and you basically can't die. So I went ahead and picked up those missions and we can just go ahead and run them. And like I can just run into this area right here and AOE down everybody, okay? So what it wants me to do is to kill eight corrupted. I can do that in like four or five heavy attacks. It's going to be so easy to do and it's going to get me a thousand... Uh, faction points and because I haven't done my dailies yet it's gonna give me like 200 plus coins right it's a it's a pretty darn good deal I don't have to PvP flag up to do it and uh, I can just do all of them uh, very quickly these guys are following somebody you see that they're they're crawling they're little crawly boys man somebody give these guys a wheelchair come on now just feel bad they're just crawling man so I'm going to go ahead and cut to the part where I get there and just show you that this build, I can aggro the entire camp if I want. I mean, I've, I've shown it off a few times on this channel. I've had a, I've got a few videos on my channel that show you how this build works. Uh, the build is something called, um, like, how to solo uh, level 66 corrupted portals. Anyway, I'll be right back. All right, we got to kill eight corrupty boys. Ouch. Owie. <laughs> All right, so we're going to just run in and aggro as many as possible here. There we go. Just just grab them all. That's what three. There's a couple in this house. We can go ahead and kill these. There's a what is this patroller? And you know I want the chest. While I'm here, I might as well get the chests. All right, let's just start cleaving. All right, they're gonna hurt these these little hatchet guys. They actually hurt pretty bad, but it's fine because uh, I hurt them more and I heal, so <laughs> it doesn't matter how much damage they do. If the enemies can't kill me. Or deal more damage than I heal with my swings. And there we go. We've already killed four out of eight. And, uh, yeah, that's five out of eight. Just one in, in just a few seconds here. I'm gonna go ahead and get me some loot. Make sure you get the loot while you're here. You know, uh, you could find some good stuff. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a good, like, since you're already here, you might as well pick it up, right? All right, and then this is a silver mob. It's fine. I don't think the barbs count. Uh, the corruption mines are a little, a uh, little iffy for my build. But I'm just gonna aggro all of them, line of sight around like a house here. I'll get this guy too, and that that should be more than enough, right? I don't like the corrupted mines. I don't have resistance against those. Uh, yeah, so those hurt pretty bad, but it's fine. This build is just so overpowered. It doesn't matter. And we can always just run away from them, you know? I have this one mob here that's sustaining me indefinitely, right? I wish the I wish the mines counted as mobs. Okay, there's a lot of mines. They're, they are mine spamming. And like I said, I don't I don't have to fight them if I don't want to. It's fine. Uh, we just need three more. No mine, go away. <laughs> it's got the fl it's got the quest marker on it. Okay, the Vikers are coming in. We're, we're all having a big indoor party now. 
Let's go ahead and spin these guys. Get them, just get them nice and close, and then we can start cleaving. See, this build, it's just wonderful. Most builds would crumble to this. Like, most builds would be taking fatal damage, but not me. And I'm not being knocked around because of 300 strength makes me um, indomitable? Or, it gives you grit, essentially. So we've already cleared one quest area. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear this quest area, which I just need to loot chests. Apparently. I didn't even loot all the chests in here. I don't really care. Um, <laughs> I have, what, 118,000 coins on me, and I've got another 300,000 worth of materials. See, if I was PvP flagged, I'd have to deal with this guy, and he could probably have, like, 20 friends. Yep, there's another PvP flag guy I think they might be fighting. I don't know. And uh, it's just it's just not worth it, right, uh, on a big populated server if you're a solo player. So, now, the other quest is way up here, right? But by the time I finish this and run back to this outpost and turn them in, I'm going to get new quests. And those new quests could send me right here. It could send me over here. So, basically, what you want to do is try to get the quests all be in one little area. And that is how you can very quickly and efficiently farm faction points. There's really not much else to really talk about. I hate that these forts don't have, like, multiple entrances, and I am trapped in the bramble here. Uh, also, bisons are just kind of hanging out, sniffing the walls. Um, <laughs> I don't think bisons would really get close to human encampments, you know? And, and lore-wise, the corrupted do need to eat, so why aren't they hunting the bison? Okay, so I need to just loot chests. That means I could just run in here and just loot chests. Uh, just four chests and climb up the stairs. That's kind of awkward. Uh, let's see. There we go. Supply cache. I know it's pronounced cache. That didn't even give any items. That's weird, isn't it? it? Normally, you get the quest item and, like, some random stuff. Okay, see? Like, that one worked. I got some pure solvent with the truth serum. <laughs> the mob doesn't even know how to hit me. Like, I could just ignore the mob. I am so tanky in this that corrupted mobs literally can't hurt me. And if they do, I just hit them once and get it all back. See how fast and easy this quest is? I know it doesn't reward nearly as much as the PvP quest. I know, I'm, and I'm sorry. It looks like maybe there's supposed to be mobs here. I think someone came in and cleared this. Yeah, this place is eerily empty. Ooh, I got a maple chest of... Oh, is that a chest recipe? Is it? What is that? Maple chest of... Oh, man, I got... I got... That's a chest of drawers. Boo. Now, if I want, I could just run to this outpost and then teleport back for Azoth, which is something I should do, but... You know, to save you guys the trouble, I'm just gonna cut to me back in town, so I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back at town. I did dilly-dally a little bit. Um, but, uh, we have these two quests now to turn in, so here's what I'm gonna do. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn one of them in, because you see up here the daily bonus. I've covered this before, but I'm gonna cover it again. Uh, don't turn them in very quickly, because then you don't get the daily bonus. Click one, exit the menu, Wait for that tooltip in the middle right of the screen to disappear that shows how much money you earn. Open it back up and then claim the next one, okay? And there you go. Um, so that gave me a bunch of, uh, yeah, you know, tokens, whatever. Um, and it didn't take that much time. It was very easy with this build. So that is how you do it. So now we have an elite one, right? This build can do the elite ones, okay? That's the cool thing. You can't do certain Merc Guard Elites. This hammer on the left side is just shaking violently. What the heck is going on? Is Thor trying to summon his hammer? Uh, destroy every Corrupted. That one's that one's easy. Let's see if it's near um, this area. It is not. It is right down here. So that's pretty close to town. I'm going to keep that one. I'm just going to keep it, okay? I'm going to throw this one away. And now it wants me to hunt gators. Where is that at? That is way up here on the right. I don't, I don't want to go that far, so I'm going to abandon that one. And let me just see where this one's at, okay? This one... Oh, this one's Merc Guard. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do Merc Guard. So I'm just going to abandon that. And I have three minutes until this refreshes again, so I could either go and run this one. I could go and attempt... At this point, I can go and attempt to run these PvP ones. I am... <laughs> as soon as I walk out that gate flag, these dudes will follow me and murder me, and I am not a PvP build. Now, I could always try it, though. There's, I don't really have much to lose other than some durability. Uh, while I wait for these other quests to refresh, I, or I can just run this one and run back. Also, it says I died here, but um, I didn't die there. I haven't died in quite a long time. I don't know why that's showing. That is very odd. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's that's the video. That's how to get uh, very quick uh, faction points. You just do the faction missions. I, I know, right? But uh, you gotta use the right build. You gotta have the right items, and it makes it brain dead super easy mode. All right, I'm so Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro, stay soul. Please like the video. There has been an army of dislikers lately from Reddit. 
uh, who got really mad that I made troll videos about like a post rush or something. Anyway, guys, thanks for liking the video. It really does help out, and I will see you tomorrow.